goes through our two scenarios. First scenario that, yeah, there was a creator, there was a God. Second scenario that's Hocus Pocus made by some people. All right, Omar, uh, go ahead and introduce yourself. My name is uh, Omar, originally from Egypt, but currently live in Japan. I'm a master student, okay. <laughs> <laughs> we have to go back to that. Yeah. Guys, um, he's a master student. Remember that. That's the only point to take away from yeah. that. Yeah. What is the definition of alien? Someone from beyond this world, right? The closest thing to a god is a higher dimensional being. So for example- But that's assuming, that's assuming aliens are smart. They could be, because they haven't found us. We might be their gods as well, right? Yeah. Well, they, they, would be more yeah, they would be more classified as aliens, I agree with you, but I wouldn't automatically assume. Yeah, because they didn't tell you. Like, right, if, if they told them, yeah. If, if an angel told yeah. you, I'm God, I have like wings, I can fly, I can appear and disappear. Only one prophet that talked to God. Other prophets talked through uh, an intermediate, which was right. Gabriel. Yeah, Gabriel. 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 Theoretical physics, like, the higher dimensions can control the lower mm -hmm. For example, we are a two dimensional being. So we can control the first and second dimension first. Right. Okay. But if there is a third dimensional being, which would be not just space, but also time. Right. So, yeah, that will have control over everything in the future. So, practically speaking, a third dimensional being, if such a thing exists, mm -hmm. can be a god easily because he can create universes. Because our universe is a three dimensional universe or a fourth dimensional universe if we're basically time.